Ever since the last year's leak of GTA 6 development videos, fans have been analyzing them, noting the coordinates, and drawing the more and more accurate concepts of how the final GTA 6 map could look like. Today, we're going to dive deep into the leaked maps of the upcoming game and explore the most detailed and accurate representation based on leaks, real-life building locations, coordinates, roads, and landmarks. So let's get started. One of the most intriguing rumors surrounding GTA 6 is that the map might be even twice the size of its predecessor, GTA 5. That's right, a massive increase in scale. Even though I think 50% increase is more realistic scenario, there are some concerns about the potential drawbacks of a larger game world. Some some people worry that a bigger map may result in emptier spaces. They point out that even in GTA 5, the northern countryside lacked activities compared to the bustling urban areas. The Venom Snake posted a tweet showing GTA 5 with all the useless space missing. Yes, I know there are some side missions in the areas missing, but still, also agree. Red Dead Redemption 1 and 2 have some of the most alive feeling maps. GTA 4 is pretty good too, but my god, GTA 5's map is terrible. Just gotta hope they utilize the space in GTA 6. What do you think? Do you agree with with him? I gotta admit that after playing GTA 5 for almost 10 years, I can say that the countryside part of the map should be filled with more variety of foliage, random events and stuff. But when GTA 5 was initially released back in 2013, it was designed for the previous generation of gaming consoles. The hardware limitations at that time affected the game's overall world design, including the countryside. The developers had to make compromises to ensure the game ran smoothly on those consoles. In 2015, GTA 5 received a next generation update, bringing enhanced visuals and improvements to the game. This update showcased the potential for a more detailed and immersive experience. However, despite the visual improvements, some players, including me, still felt that the countryside lacked the desired density and variety they were hoping for. Same situation happened with GTA 5 Enhanced and Expanded, which was first announced to be released in November 2021. Then they delayed it and changed the release date to the 15th of March 2022. I really hoped that this version would bring significant significant improvements and enhancements to the game, including adding more life and density to the map. However, the reality was really disappointing for me. Rockstar's trailer about the game and its name expanded and enhanced made me really believe that something big is coming. Upon release, it became apparent that the changes and updates in GTA 5, enhanced and expanded, were not as extensive as I thought. The game did not undergo a complete refresh or receive substantial updates to the map or overall gameplay experience. But let's get back to the GTA 6 map concepts. The newest and probably most accurate concept looks like this. Too bad it's not colored just as the maps I've shown you before. The GTA 6 map is shaped like Florida and its surrounding areas, providing a massive and diverse world to explore. Let's take a closer look at some of the key locations on this detailed map. We have Red Hill Forest, Ambrosia Tarmac, Ambrosia Farmlands, Copperhead, and even a parody of Disney World called Fairyland. Sundown Beaches and Airport are also included, offering a beautiful coastal setting. We've got really many interesting places to explore here, including Sugarloaf Mountain and Port Gellhorn, which have its unique racetrack. There's also LO which has its racetrack too, and additional a prison. Maybe that's there the game may start, as there are rumors that the game intro will be a prison break type story, where Jason will be potentially helping Lucia to get out of there. Apart from the vibrant locations I've just listed, the leaked map also features some interesting geographical elements. Let's explore them further. While the mountains in GTA 6 don't have specific names yet, Rockstar could create faux mountains or hillsides similar to landfills found in Florida. I noticed that some people have been questioning the inclusion of mountains in a map based on Florida, as the state itself does not have prominent mountain ranges. However, it's worth noting that neighboring states like Georgia do have mountains. This could be a plausible explanation for their presence in the GTA 6 map, allowing for diverse and visually stunning landscapes. Also, I'm thrilled to see that there are six airports included in the map. As someone who loves using planes as a primary mode of transport in GTA games, this is truly exciting. To put it into perspective, GTA 5 had four airports if we count the one in Sandy Shores. The addition of more airports opens up new possibilities for aerial exploration and adds another layer of immersion to the gameplay. Going further, the presence of Fairyland, a parody of Disneyland, is simply hilarious. Rockstar Games has always had a knack for injecting humor and satire into their game worlds, and this concept doesn't disappoint. I can only imagine the outrageous and amusing activities that will be available in this whimsical theme park. 
Looking at the map as a whole, I appreciate the mix of cities and countryside it offers. It seems to strike a nice balance, encouraging players to explore both urban and rural areas. The inclusion of water bodies also suggests that boats may play a significant role in transportation and activities. This is a refreshing change from the relatively smaller GTA 5 map, where the presence of mountains limited the available space for exploration. And speaking of lakes, there's Lake Leonida, a massive body of water located in the middle of the map, which could hold hidden secrets and easter eggs. Now let's talk about Vice City, cause as you can see in GTA 6, Vice City makes a comeback, and it's packed with nostalgic locations like Ocean Beach, Vice Beach Plaza, and a bustling shopping district. This leaked map, based on Florida, with landmarks such as Starfish Island and Miami Airport, gives us a glimpse of what to expect from GTA 6 in terms of setting and locations. Now, another leaked image here that is a little bit lower quality, so I do apologize, is a spot known as Hank's Waffles, which is actually going to be one of the restaurants in GTA 6, again, that you're going to be able to go to, eat at, and actually interact with. We don't know really how important this is going to be to the GTA 6 storyline or anything, but it is cool to see some new locations on the map or Field, especially in good enough quality to actually get a pretty good idea of what to expect in the game. Now, some other information about map changes and actually design choices that Rockstar has decided to do last minute here is coming from the GTA 6 trailer countdown account who tweeted saying GTA 6 will reportedly feature an ever-evolving map as Rockstar plans to update the game over time, adding new cities on a regular basis with Vice City being the main setting. And as you guys can see here, they actually did throw up a concept of what this would look like if GTA 6's map actually had a bunch of different locations that actually changed over time as well. Also, notably here, we're going to talk about this later in the video, but GTA 6 is codenamed Project Americas, so it does make sense if they have multiple different countries, islands, and locations all on this map as well. That would literally just tie it together perfectly, and it would expand the horizon of the possibilities we'd be able to do in GTA 6, as opposed to just being stuck on one island and one map, like every previous installation of the franchise. And honestly, this concept is pretty cool, man. I, I think it's really well divided up. There is a bunch of different oceans and lakes you have a bunch of different biomes and terrain and it would just make the game feel so fresh having so many different areas to visit and obviously vice city would be the main one since that's confirmed going to be the main place gta 6 takes place and we also have more information coming from jason schreier from bloomberg news we actually talked about this in a previous video and this does confirm that these new map design choices are actually legit he goes on to say sticking to the pledge that has already prompted changes to the game original plans for the title which is codenamed project americas were for it to be more vast than any Grand Theft Auto game to date. Early designs called for the inclusion of territories modeled around large swaths of North and South America, according to people familiar with the plans, but the company reeled in those ambitions and cut the main map down to a fictional version of Miami, which we obviously know as Vice City, and its surrounding areas. Rockstar's plan is now to continually update the game over time, adding new missions and cities on a regular basis, which leadership hopes will lead to less crunch during the game's final months. Still, the game's world remains large, with more interior locations than previous Grant the Thought of Games impacting the timeline. So this gives us a good bit of information here because like we just previously read on some other leaks, there was rumors that South America and North America were going to both be playable areas on the GTA 6 map. And now we have this new information coming out from Jason, who is a very reliable source in the gaming community that uh, was saying their original plan was to have North and South America and have different islands involved, obviously being themed around Vice City or Miami as the main center point on the map. But he does confirm here that since there is a strict timeline for Take Two and Rockstar to have this game delivered to us, since it already has been over a decade since GTA 5 has released. They are cutting back on this in the early stages of when the game releases, but he does confirm that they are going to be adding constant map changes and evolution to the map as time goes on, since they're not going to be dropping everything right at the release of the game, which lines up with the other leaks that we looked at. So that basically confirms it, which is very, very exciting, because that means we are going to be getting constant map changes and updates throughout GTA 6's lifespan, at least for the first few years, which will keep the game fresh and fun. We also saw GTA 6 trailer countdown tweet this as well saying GTA 6's map was originally featured parts of North and South America that got scaled down to a detailed fictional version of Miami or Vice City. But here's the catch. Although they are scaling down the size of the map in terms of like how large it's going to be, they are making sure that all the interior locations are going to actually be interactable, which again, going back to our first point in the video was something a lot of people complained about in older GTA titles. There's no point in having a million skyscrapers, houses, buildings, and restaurants if you could only go and interact with only a few of them at a time. So of course, GTA 6 is gonna be switching that up, which I am super excited for. There's so many different locations and the world kind of is in like the shape of Florida. We know that the game is going to encompass 
Florida and its surrounding areas. So we don't know if that's going to be just the entirety of the state which is kind of what the shape roughly looks like, or if it's going to encompass other states close to Florida that it borders, like Alabama, Georgia, and then a little bit of South Carolina. So starting at the very top, you'll notice that not all of the names have specific places like mountains in the top left-hand corner. That's obviously not going to be the case. It's going to be something along the lines of like Mount Chiliad, or it's going to have a very specific name. And a lot of people have been wondering, how is Florida going to have mountains? Well, Rockstar could actually kind of do a parody of something like this. I'm going to quickly jump over to this picture right here. I don't know if you guys are in Florida and if you've seen stuff like this, it looks like a giant hill and it looks like a mountain. Those are actually landfills. This is where the state of Florida buries their garbage and sometimes radioactive materials there. This is probably a gold mine for Rockstar, for Easter eggs, for stories, for lore, all sorts of stuff. So they could probably give us some faux mountains or nice looking hillsides, kind of what we saw in the leaks. So I think that's going to be really what we get unless we go to another state like Georgia, which does have mountains in the north and same with a small bit of Alabama. So unless we travel to those different states, that's probably looking like what you're going to get with mountains. You also have the Red Hill Forest, the Ambrosia Tarmac, Ambrosia Farmlands, and then Ambrosia. This area kind of reminds me of Grapeseed, if I'm totally being honest with you, kind of like a small farm town in the middle of nowhere. We're also going to have one giant lake, Lake Leonida. That's going to be in the middle of the map, as you guys can see there. Again, it'll be cool to see if Rockstar is able to hide any Easter eggs or any underwater secrets right there. That looks pretty cool. Just to the north of that is Copperhead. Again, I can see this being kind of like a small town in the middle of nowhere. And then we have Fairyland, which is going to be a parody of Disney World, which is based in Orlando. 